Hey you guys, what's up? I am the Spanish here. Welcome back to the episode of Pokemon Sapphire. In the last episode, we defeated some trainers and we caught our final team member already. But yeah, anyways, in this episode, we're gonna continue on battling some dudes and girls, of course. Oh, yeah, Pokemon look like serious actors. I have to ask you for an engagement. Sure, let's, um, let's fight. Bruh. All right, Wingo. Let's go, let's go. Go for that wing attack. Okay, he's gonna go for it too. It's okay, it's all right. Holy shit, that critical hit though. <laughs> wow. That did some huge damage. Wow. A bit too much, actually. <laughs> Melonette is trying to learn Roar. No thank you. Numel. Uh, let's just switch to Vulcan or Numel self. Just in case something happens with our Falco. So let's Magnitude. Nine, holy shit. Nine already. That's pretty cool. Alright, so... Vulcan grew to level 21. Rosalia, let's switch back to Falco. I hope Falco can handle the Rosalia. Would be amazing. Okay, Rosalia, so let's wing attack. Alright. And level 22. That is quite amazing. And you will see why just in a few seconds. Okay, let's go. Boom, Falco. Okay, sorry there. Had to answer a text message. Anyways, Metalhead grabs some experience. Alright. Cool trainer, Brook. What? Falco is evolving? Oh my god, I didn't know this at all. Like, at all. We've gotten ourselves a nice N. Swallow right here, that is pretty sick, boys. Alright. Pretty sick, we have a Falco. The Swallow, of course. That's amazing. Alright. So, she is pretty good to go. Okay, let's put her back since we use her a lot. Okay, this is the order I want people to be leveled. Alright, so... Let's move on to the next route. Which is one of my favorite routes. Just listen. Ta-ta! Oh my god, I just love... This is one of my favorite routes and team of a route in the entire Pokemon universe, boys. It's actually amazing. I just love it. I don't know why. It's... Uh, it's so amazing, it's so mysterious, cool, and the route is so original, I love it. In Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, this route is just beautiful. I absolutely love these games, you know. Anyways, let's go and talk to you. Youngster Neil. Anyways, let's speed up things a bit. I don't want to go as slow as last episode. You know, I don't want these games to be continuing for ages, you know, I've been behind on schedule, so that's why I want to gain in some stuff, just so I can do some stuff, you know? You all know what I mean. Self-destruct, oh you bitch. <laughs> if this would have been a Nuzlocke, bye-bye sorceress, I guess. Let's just keep on strengthening. Okay, 
There we go. Let's grab this and eat her. Super repel. Okay, so... Skarmory, look at that. I'll run away. Let's heal up. Oh yeah, remember, something was going on the TV for us. In search of trainers. Hi, today I visited an area near Route 111. We're trying to spot some up-and-coming new talent in the field. Today we turned our lens on the trainer, Jason. There is something about this trainer that piqued our interest. The best way to determine how strong a trainer is, well, the fastest way is to battle. And so we began our investigation. That's how he ended up in battle with Jason and in dominating performance. We were flattened, rolled up and tossed aside. Jason is ruthlessly strong. We asked the trainer for his assistance. The summation of the battle we shared, the combination of Aaron and Taylor was divine. The sight of them, Aaron and Taylor selflessly supporting each other in the thick of battle. It was a marvelous sight to behold. Mudslap was the move the trainer last used in our battle. The move Mudslap is Aaron and Taylor's sign of friendship. After our battle, we asked Jason for our assistance summary. The trainer replied, excuse me. Jason's Pokemon Aaron and Taylor. And, excuse me. Hmm, that's deep. That There's deep significance behind that quote. It's no surprise a good trainer has good things to say. That's all for today. See you guys again on the next broadcast. Cool, man. Cool. Excuse me. Haha. <laughs> that was very funny, actually. <laughs> Anyways, let's see if we need to change up our positions of our Pokemon. Yep, we do. We've used Metalhead quite a lot recently, so, you know, let's put him back. And I actually want to use a goddamn Repel. I always forget to use these. Let's spray one. Let's move on on our adventure of Pokemon. Okay, trainer. Let's go for a Magnitude. And... A double battle. Let's go for an Ember and a Confusion. Boom, defeated. Vulcan is level 22 as well. Very nice. A Max Eater. That's very handy. Definitely very, very handy. Wow, today's technology is a wondrous thing. Take this Volcanic Ash. Cool. A Mysterious Trainer in the sand over there. Destroy just everything with Amber. And what do we have here? This area is covered in volcanic ash. Huff puff. I'm especially gifted. Huff puff. I make glass out of volcanic ash and make items. Huff puff. Go collect ashes with this. Huff puff. A suit sack. Just take that suit sack and walk through piles of ash. Huff puff. And it will fill up the volcanic ash. Huff puff. Once you think you've collected a good amount, come see me. Huff puff. Cool. That was a weird ass, weird ass guy, man. <laughs> Anyways, let's spray another repel. Okay. TM32. Alright, I'm intrigued in what TM that is, so let's go see. Double team. Meh. <laughs> Not really a good TM. But it's alright. The volcano's eruption has proved that the Earth is alive. It is alive. It is alive. Youngster Dylan with the Aaron. All right, boys, let's go for a magnitude. Magnitude seven. Okay, so Aaron is down, and bye bye. Youngster Dylan, you're some kind of strong. I am indeed some kind of strong. I know, man. I know. Alright, so... Looks like we've entered Fall Arbor Town. Nice and peaceful music. Anyways, let's heal for Pokemon. And, hey, who the hell is at our box? Let's go and see. 
Oh, hello, you are? Okay, your name is Jason. I can see that you're a trainer, so that means you use the Pokemon storage system to earn developed. How I arrived at the conclusion is a simple deductive process. You spoke to me because you wanted to access something on this PC. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm Lynette. Honestly, I'm glad to meet you. It's great you're using the storage system. If you could, if you could, please visit me at home. My house is on Route 114. All right, whatever, man, whatever. You're nothing. Okay, let's just exit this area and explore a bit more. What's up? What's up? I saw a shady fellow scuttled in and out of Professor Cosmo's lab. See, take a look. This is my precious Azuril. It's slick and smooth and plushy too. Have you already f challenged Flannery, the leader of Laverage Gym? The girl's grandfather was famous. He was one of the elite four in the Pokemon League at one point. It didn't sm it's pretty surprise me to see Flannery become a great trainer in her own right. Okay, so it's not this time. We're going to have a gym battle, unfortunately. Professor Cosmo went off the meter falls on Route 140 with some people from Team Aqua. Well, that can be a good sign. Suspicious meteorite holds a nugget if you want to grab some money. Move to this house. That's not going to be useful since you only use that on fully evolved po Pokemon if you caught them later on. And you want a move that they don't they have learned before but don't have it on them. Anyways, in the Pokemon Center here, I'm gonna acquire a few more super repels. And by few I mean a couple ten. Let's buy some super potions. Let's buy a couple of ten as well. Okay. And I want to sell some items also. Nugget, bye bye. And. That's it, really. Okay, please come again. Yeah. I'll sure come again, man. Alright, let's go to the bag. Let's actually give back some items to our Pokemon. Quick Claw. Give that maybe to Vulcan. Let's give Soft Sand to Swampy. Miracle Seed to our Shrooms over here. And Silk Scarf to Mr. Falco. Or Mrs. Falco to be exact. Alright, so. Route 114. Fossil Maniac. Alright, let's go and see. My big brother's a fossil maniac. He's a nice guy who loves fossils. He loves digging holes too. He dug this hole by himself. He can have this. He can dig holes just like my brother. TM28. Probably the TM for dig. I don't know what who to teach that just yet. But let's go see about this fossil maniac. I'm the fossil maniac. I'm a nice guy who loves fossils. Do you want a fossil? But the fossils around these parts all belongs to me, none for you. If you can't go without a fossil, go to the desert on Route 111. From what I've heard, fossils that were buried in the sand sometimes rise to the surface from sandstorms. How the root? Ah, ah. I know, I know, it's a lame reference, but whatever, whatever. I like what to do. Anyways. All my Pokemon does is roar. No one dares to come near me. Sigh, if you would, please take this TM away. Yeah, you wanted to get rid of it. I know, I know. God damn it, stupid roar. Anyways, I will see you guys all in the next episode for Pokemon Sapphire. See you guys later.